what is going on everybody back with another one back from thailand oh man it was a insane trip do i like this i know i'm like trying to change things up mid video let me get a little wider shot let me i want you guys to see what's going on here here we go we'll go with that one all right 24 millimeter i was shooting on a 35 but i don't know i want to start shooting the whole trip i shot everything a lot really wide and high frame rates so I think moving forward, I want to start shooting at like a higher frame rate more often. So I don't know. We're going to keep it. Or, and I actually start shooting at a wider angle. So we'll see. I don't know. I might just crop it in. We'll see. But this is a 24 millimeter for those who are wondering. I usually like to shoot on like a 35, but 24, you get all of this going on. But let's get to it, guys. Thailand, been turning out these videos, turning out the shorts, IG reels, pictures, all of that good stuff. I just wanted to give like a cup my little insight. This would be like one of maybe five videos that I do just like talking about the experience along with showing you the visuals because 10 days is not enough. Let's start with how long should you be out there? If you can only do a week, I would say, you know, don't turn on the opportunity, go out there for a week. If you can only do 10 days, Let's say, hey, don't miss an opportunity. Go out there for 10 days. But if you are debating, should you go for 12 days or 16 days? Go with 16 days. If you're able to go there for 20 days, go there for 20 days. If you can stay a month, stay a month. There is so much things to do, so many things to get into to see that a month is more reasonable is more of a reasonable time to really really capture a good portion of the country two weeks actually let me take that back two weeks to a month and that's and if you're going there for two weeks you're really like out there you're not sleeping and you're really getting out there you know really trying to absorb try to see try to check out different parts of the island because there's so much things to do and within every city I think some are called providences within different islands it's so much going on and they're all unique they all have its own theme they all have its own thing so depending on what you like you got to kind of find it and fish it out everyone is going out there for different reasons everyone has a different taste in how they like to travel what do you like to do when you travel and it's all out there but you have to find it right like the way i like to travel is it's not going to be like how everyone likes to, likes to travel so what i talk about and what i try to find is going to be different than you know this person over here or whatever right but saying all of that that is why it requires so much time and i wouldn't even say it's a lot of time because you're going to realize it goes so fast i looked up and it was time to go home and i almost started crying i was like this is crazy <laughs> I just got here. I just got acclimated to the jet lag. Cause that's another thing. It takes a day to get there. And it's probably gonna take another like half a day for you to get adjusted, get assimilated to the time. Cause it's a 12 hour difference depending on where you live at. Where I live, it's a 12 hour difference. So a day and a half to get there, adjust, and a day and a half, and a day to come back home, right? So that's two and a half days that you can't even really count. Because even though I was trying to get up, move around, I was tired. I just wanted to take a nap. I wanted to just get in the covers, right? You're just so messed up, but you keep moving. So you got to keep that in mind when you're planning the trip. Is you're already going to lose two days just traveling back and forth, right? And then to get acclimated to the time, maybe, maybe you can get away with, a you know, half a day, a little bit less than that. But let's just say half a day right and then you can really start getting in your groove and what you want to do and then have a have a plan like i don't always like to have such a very strict regimen on when i get to places i like things to be a bit loose but i want to have an overview and a layout of the land but that's how i do with anything i always like to have like an overview and things that i'm getting into I like to have a layout i want to know ahead of time what's going on what's what's out there how do people move how does it kind of work and once i get out there then i can refine it and put the meat on it have an idea of what you want to see what you want to do places you want to check out you know of course you always hear about bangkok you know that's the that's the major city but 
there's a lot of places north, Chiang Rai, Chiang Mai, you know, that are beautiful places that people don't talk about, you know, and then there's places in between that, that I just realized, I just discovered, you know, you got, you got the south of Thailand with, you know, the Krabi, and you have uh, Pattaya, the Phuket's, Koh Samui, and I can go on and on. And within all of those little islands and those different cities, it's a ton of things to get into. Whatever you're looking for, you can find it. So keep that in mind. So I already want to go back. I already want to go back. And like I said, I'm going to make a couple of videos, probably touching on a very specific topic for each one um, of my experiences. But just so you know, I'm trying to go back ASAP. I wanted to make this video about the treatment that I got out there. I think that's something that I want to really, I mean, I want to really stress. And that's what I've been stressing with a lot of people who've been asking me about the trip was like, yo, the treatment has been something else. I've never been treated like that before, guys. Let's just, I mean, just walking into like places of business, polar opposite from what I would get out here. Depending on where I'm walking at, what store I'm walking into, depending what part of town I'm in, the treatment, <laughs> the gap is so wide. I was out there and I'm in major cities, little towns and all types of businesses, a little store, restaurant, you know, gyms, what, what, whatever. Like I'm, I'm out, like I'm really just absorbing, trying to absorb the culture as much as possible, not trying to be just a flat out tourist, you know what I mean? So, and the love I was getting was insane. Just kind, super warm. I mean, over value on the service to the point I was thinking like, all right, this, this, this isn't even real. Like, okay, well, what's, you're just doing this because you want to get something. I, like I, I was bringing a lot of my biases to the country, right? Cause I, I just found it so weird that I was getting just treated good, treated like a human. And I noticed some people, they're like, bro, what are you talking about? You know, that's, you know, you're exaggerating it. You gotta understand guys, everyone's perspective, everyone's life is different. You know, this is from my perspective, what I deal with on a day to day. It's not like that, right? It's not like that. I was walking up and down streets, didn't matter the time of the hour, you know, walking past, you know, ladies and they're not clutching purses or like trying to create a ton of space so you know there doesn't have to be much interaction it's like we're just walking you know hey how you doing good morning a smile or even if they don't you know fully engage it's just like and we keep it moving you know but once again i'm you i'm contrasting it verse with what i get living in the states living in the south when I'm walking up and down certain streets, when I park my car, they see me getting out of my car and I start walking and they're viewing me like, I don't even want to go down the list. And that was something that stood out to me immediately. And if you see other videos with people talking about Thailand, that's something that really stands out. It's like, oh, you just get treated good. You just get treated great. You get treated like a human. And it's crazy that I even have to like say that and talk about that on this video and make it real, but it is real. It's real from my interactions with people, you know, and it really kind of hit me because it made me realize, oh, I've been kind of desensitized. I've been kind of programmed to just somewhat accept a certain way of treatment out here. And I really didn't know I was getting that treatment until I was in Thailand. And I'm like, oh, this is, this is how it should be. This is how we should get. This is how life should be. This is how it should feel going out day to day, interacting, networking. Oh, you know, people were asking me like, oh, is it racist out there? I'll be honest with you. The, I mean, if it's racism, if we, I don't know if we want to call it that. The only times I had like a little issue or issues it wasn't with the Thai people. It was not with the Thai people at all. You know who it was with? It was with other foreigners. <laughs> you know, that's where every so often 
Yeah, I'll run into a little. I'll get into it in another video. But it wasn't anything major. It's like I wasn't going to go spar with these people. But, you know, anytime there was like... I can feel the tension a little bit. It was with other foreigners. It was never with the Thai people. You know, with Thai people, they're just like what the hell are you doing out here? Like, what's your story, right? Because they're telling me like, look, we really don't see a lot of guys like you out here. <laughs> so we want to know what's going on. And I respect that and I understood that. Initially, when I got out there, I was taking it as, oh, I can't be here. What? The, well, I'm not, I can't be in this type of store because of this, the way I look and the ears and blah. Once again, but see guys, this is how growth happens. This is what I talk about with growth. This is what I talk about with you have to experience things. You have to go through things so you can learn your lessons, so it can expose you and expose things that may, maybe you need to work on. You know, once again, I was preconditioned. I was bringing my biases, biases to the country. And I was wrong pretty much every time. And you start having this reflection, it's like, huh, what other biases am I taking and applying it to other situations and it's really hurting me, not helping me? And that's what this trip was really, really doing to me. Of course, beautiful sights and I can talk about food and we'll get into all that. The visuals, you'll see the visuals popping up on YouTube on, on my page, but I want to talk about the real. I want to talk about what this trip really did to me and why it was so difficult, like really coming back. It was rough and it's still rough right now. I don't know if I'm necessarily the happiest to be back. I'll be honest with you because I felt there was so much more to see, so much more to do, so much more to experience. And on a deeper level, I was able to start learning more about me, learn more about some of the past things that I'm still holding on to, which is causing issues in, in the current time, in the present time, and how it can affect maybe opportunities relationships whatever because I guys I'm telling you I really thought when they're looking and staring I'm thinking I'm taking it to a whole other level and it's not the case and then when I finally kind of get close enough they're giving me a big ass smile and saying hello and want to take a picture it was cr it was cr it was really really incredible to me I've never experienced like anything like that before that type of treatment and I'm, I really had to sit and think about that and really process that and really say, okay, this, how in the world am, am I just kind of getting this treatment now? And it's the reality of it. And I've been to other countries. I wasn't getting that type of treatment. I definitely don't get it in the States. Thailand was its own unique thing. And I, I something about want, I need to go back. Cause there's more things to shoot. There's more things to experience. And I felt it was like a trip to where once again, I said it before, I was able to kind, not kind of, I was really able to dig deep into me and learn more about me and really just grow. Like, what do I like? What do I want? What do I dislike? What are things that I don't want? What are things I don't want to accept? What, do, what are things that I want to do? What do I want? What is making me happy? What is making me, what is bringing me peace? I want to say saying bring happiness you know, because happiness you have to find within yourself. You know, you can't really find that from external uh, validation, but what is bringing me, what can bring me peace? And I was like, huh, okay. I'm finding these things the further I was going along with the trip, having those little introspective moments. I know I'm getting way deep on this video and we're going, I know this video is getting long too, almost at 15 minutes, that's crazy. But I won't, I'll, I'll start wrapping it up, I promise. But it was a reality, guys, I'm telling you. You know, to the point, I'm I'm trying to go back soon, sooner than later. Sooner than later, I'm trying to get back because there's more to be discovered of the island and more to be discovered of myself. And I think that's something that if anybody's wanting to travel, put Thailand on the list and just go somewhere. Just go, just go anywhere. Traveling for me is more than just the sights and the scenery and all of that. I'm telling you, it it does something internally to me and it will do something internally to you. It will help you. You know, it's a bit of my therapy as well and it makes a tremendous difference. 
the downside is you gotta come back. <laughs> you gotta come back. It doesn't last forever. Or maybe it can. You know, I, I see how some people are just like, look, I'm out. I'll live over here. I'm, I'm gonna live in this country. And you think, you see, you know these people, and you see these people, and you're like, this guy is out of their freaking mind. But then when you experience it, and you do like a little compare contrast of the current way you're living and then the life out there, you're like, oh, I get it now. They're not crazy. They're, they're the smartest people out in the room. I'm the, I'm the silly one. I'm the goofball. So, guys, I'm going to wrap it up on that. Like I said, more videos are on the way. Ton of content. The visuals are amazing. And this is part one of, I don't know, maybe five that I want to do. So be on the lookout. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. I know it sounds cringy when I say that. I don't like saying it, but it helps the channel. Let's get it.